Hi, this is Suzanne for Rainbow Loom. Today I'll be showing you how to make the double bead ladder bracelet. This is an intermediate level design. To make this bracelet you will need 38 A colored bands, 12 B colored bands, 20 pony beads placed on 10 of the A colored bands, and a C clip. It's a good idea to have these supplies ready before you begin, so pause the video here until you're ready to follow along. Now let's get started. Turn the loom so that the red arrow is pointing away from you. You'll thread tw 20 pony beads on 10 of the A colored bands and set those aside. We've already done that here for you, but I'll show you how to do that. To thread a pony bead, you'll grab the pony bead and pinch a rubber band. You'll put the rubber band through the pony bead. This gets a little trickier when you place two on there, so you'll need to be careful as you're doing that. If you have trouble pinching the rubber band and placing it through the pony bead with your hand, you may use a metal crochet hook, and I'll show you how to do that. You get your pony bead, slide a metal crochet hook through the bead, place a band over your finger, then you'll grab that band with your hook, and pull it through the bead. And that's how you can thread your pony bead onto a band or any other bead. Start by placing 13 A colored bands along the left side of the loom. We'll start from the center pin. Place your first band from the center pin out to the left. Place another band above that. That will go up the left side of the loom. We'll continue placing one band over the other up the left side of the loom, and we'll fast forward from here till we reach the end of the loom. Once you reach the second to the last pin, you'll place the next band going into the center pin. Then you return to the beginning of the loom. We'll place the bands eight colored bands going up the right side of the loom. You start from the middle pin and place that out to the right. Place another band over that one, up the right side of the loom, and we'll continue placing one band over the other till we reach the end of the loom. We'll fast forward from here. And you stop from the second pin to the end and place the last band into the center pin. Then we return to the beginning of the loom again, and we'll place a row of B colored bands going up the center of the loom. Start from the center pin and place your B band forward. Again, you continue placing one band over the other in a single chain. We'll fast forward from here till we reach the end of the loom. And there we finish placing that row. Next we'll place the 10 A colored bands that we placed our two pony beads on. We'll start from the second pin from the left and stretch the band to the second pin on the right. We'll start with red and place that band from pin to pin. Notice how we place the beads. Then we place our next one, and we'll fast forward from here till we reach the end of the loom. And there we finish placing our A bands with the pony beads. The final step in placing our bands is placing the cat band on this last pin. You'll grab an A colored band, put two fingers on each side, twist it into a figure eight, and turn it back upon itself. Then you place it on that last pin.
Once all the bands have been placed on the loom, we're ready for the next step. Now we're ready to start looping the bands. Turn your loom so that the red arrow is pointing toward you. First we'll loop the bands up the center of the loom. You start from this pin, pull your cap band back, grab your B colored band, and you pull it forward. Then you grab the next one, pull it forward, and you continue this looping process up the center of the loom. We'll fast forward until we reach the end. After we've looped the center band to the center pin, we return to the beginning of the loom and we'll loop the left side. We start from the center pin again, pull the cap band back, grab that band, hold the cap band down, and loop the band out to the left. Then we'll loop this one forward. You can reach in, pull that band back, and pull your band forward. Now this one, because we have the band going across, we'll need to pull that one back. As you can see, it's a red band in this example. So you'll pull that band back, reach down, get your A band, loop it through that band as you pull it forward. Our next band, we pull that horizontal band back, reach in and grab the A band, and pull it forward. In this next example, it is a purple band. You'll pull that back and away as you reach down and grab your A band and loop it forward. We'll continue this looping process to the end of the loom. We'll fast forward from here. At this last pin, we loop the band to the center one. And we return to the beginning of the loom. We'll loop the right side, we pull this band back, grab the band and pull it out to the right, pull the top band away as you grab your A band to loop it forward, and again in this example you have that horizontal band that's going across, you'll need to pull it back, in this case it is the red band, you pull it back, grab your A band, loop it through as you pull forward. Pull it back, loop forward. In this next example, it will be a purple band that you see that we pull back, reach in, and loop your A band forward. We'll fast forward from here till we reach the end of the loom. This will be pulled to the center pin. And there we finish looping all of our bands. Now that we've finished looping the bands, we're ready to finish the bracelet. You'll pull all the bands to the top of the pin. You'll slide your hook down through the channel of that last pin and tilt it to the side. You want to make sure that all the bands are over your hook. Grab an A colored band and place it on the end of your hook and pull back. Push your hook back as you go up through the channel of that pin, place both bands up on your hook, then pull to the thickest part of your hook. Now with your fingers, you'll lift the bands up off the loom and pull your bracelet from the loom. If made on one loom, this bracelet will need to be extended to fit your wrist comfortably. Place your loom with the red arrow pointing away from you. To extend the bracelet, you must first decide how many additional bands you will need to extend. You'll place these bands on the side of your loom. For smaller wrists, you may only need three or four bands. For larger wrists, you may need six or more. So you place those bands on the side of the loom, one over the other. And once you've placed them on the loom and stop, you'll place your cap band on that last pin. Your cap band is at the end of your bracelet. You stretch your cap band from the last pin to the one behind it. 
and then you loop the bands in a single chain. After you loop this last band, you'll stretch it to the center pin and that creates an area that you can attach your C-clip. You'll grab your C-clip so that the open side is facing forward and you snap your C-clip over that band and then you can pull your extension from the loom. On the other end you grab your hook and pull it away. Slide your two fingers into that band. You secure your C-clip with the bands on one side and then you snap it over the other. And there you have your finished double bead ladder bracelet.